What really matters here is that the people are so awake. I mean, I'm not kidding. Every second person I walk by is a listener. I mean, it is blowing my mind. You've seen the live feeds. The amount of young people, the amount of teenagers that are listeners, this is indicative of the huge, incredible awakening that is happening on a planetary scale, not just here. So make no mistake, this revolution against globalism, this revolution against globalism is something that belongs to the people. And Trump said that. This revolution is about you. You are what empowers it. You are the future. And we're going to get out of your way and let you have your destiny, have your dreams. And we understand America special in that destiny and that as America goes, the rest of the world goes. Washington envisioned all of this in his farewell address. He, he, he saw this in Providence, in a vision. And now it's all come true. The enemy knew that, so that's why they always invoke the occult. Invoke, don't talk about God or Christ. Don't talk about Providence. Don't say, you know, America is great and all this stuff to demoralize us not to have this birthright. And I believe it's going to be this republic in the future that defeats the entire world government, anti-human, eugenics-based uh, technocracy systems. Donald Trump right now is making hundreds of phone calls a day trying to get jobs into Detroit, trying to get jobs into Atlanta, trying to get jobs into all these places uh, in the Midwest as well. Very, very, very exciting stuff is happening. Uh, this is just an incredible time to be alive and I cannot, I cannot stress to everybody how historical this is because Everything the New World Order's done has been designed to bring this country down because they can't have a big, free, open, wealthy nation state with a big, fat, middle class, upwardly mobile people inside this impoverished, anti-human world government system they're establishing. The American system is too much competition for them. They admit that in the white papers. The British government 200 years ago wrote they couldn't compete with the American system. And again, the British now are throwing off globalism. They're throwing off these monopoly systems. So this is an incredible time to be alive. It is an amazing time to be alive. And it is quite frankly, so humbling and stunning. The fact that we go through these crowds of people, of people of every race, color, and creed, who are all just humans with red blood. This is breaking the will of the media that's trying to create racial division and trying to say that if you're not a white person, you can't you know, have guns or private property or a future. You don't have the, the American birthright. You don't have uh, a future of wealth. That's your enemy, that's racist. This is a cult programming to make people poor and make them the slaves of the globalists who all over the world will play different groups off against each other. If it's Ukraine, they'll play Catholic off against Orthodox. Or if it's a, a country in Africa, they'll play the Christians off against the, you know, the animus of the Muslims or, or vice versa. It's all divide and conquer because the elite are destroying nation states and trying to make us poor. So America died basically in the last few years. It was a globalist program, Bushes and Clintons behind it with criminal elements of the intelligence agencies. But America isn't just a person. Sure, a person doesn't get resurrected unless it's Jesus or Lazarus, but a country can come back from the dead. And America began to come back from the dead in the last few months and now has come back to life. The Phoenix is coming up right now. And how powerful that Phoenix is, how incredible that destiny is, is up to us. We are what breathes life into the spirit, it into us. And the enemy knows everything's energy. You see, forget all the religious books and all the all the stuff you get to hear from the preachers who are there to control the paradigm. They, the, the enemy wants to destroy our spirit, make us feel weak, so we don't take our birthright and destiny. And what happened today was the, the chief executive invited God back in and said, the door's open, and then said to the people, the door's open now to you. If you want this birthright, if you want goodness, we've all got to be good, and we've got to come together. And we've got to, if you're black hired white people, if you're you know, white hired black people, whatever, we got to come together about issues that we stand for and what we believe in and transcend all the control. The media pushed way too hard with all the race garbage. Now they're saying he's a Russian spy. Now they're saying they've got communiques with him and the Russians. And literally now he tells, he, uh, it's not just Maxine Waters, it's the New York Times now says that Putin actually told him Hillary was crooked. That's right, America, you can't have your own ideas. You can't have a strong leader. The Russians, are the reason Trump got elected. And everything comes from the Russians. Everybody knows that's BS. Nothing against the Russians, but we, uh, America invents a lot of stuff too. We come up with a lot of stuff. Yeah, I mean, I mean, give me a break. You don't think we can't come up with crooked Hillary? Hell, somebody with a lobotomy can come up with that. That'd be that smart, come up with a crooked Hillary. You're right.
So this is history happening right now. I want to skip this network break, and, and David Knight and the crew can pop it whenever they want here. But I'm going to go get settled down in an office and just take a shower or something and just get on my knees and pray to God. I'll be honest with you. I want to get in a room by myself and hit my knees and start crying because <laughs> this is so good. And I'm telling you, man, the, the evil's going to strike back. But we got to be watching them. we got to be ready. But we know who they are. We know their plan. And i got to say it. It's been InfoWars. It's been InfoWars and you, the people, and our analysis has led the way as the blueprint battle plan That's to blow right. the hell out of them. That's I'll right. tell you, people always want me to take credit. I'm a humble person, but we need to take credit just to know we, what we're doing is working. InfoWars right. and our guests and myself and you, the listeners, the eyes and ears on the ground and Matt Drudge and all of us together are the info war. We are the blueprint and the operating system that just kicked the New World Order's ass! Yeah! We got it! In case you haven't heard, InfoWars has become the most influential media outlet in America. We're making freedom go viral. And now we are proud to announce a new weapon in the epic battle against the globalist. InfoWars Prime. Where you can watch live, high-definition feeds of the Alex Jones Show, plus exclusive insider videos from the InfoWars crew and behind-the-scenes action. Go to InfoWars.com forward slash app and download today. InfoWars Prime is available right now for your iPhone or Android. You will have access to exclusive videos that you can't see anywhere else. And that means live coverage of events and breaking news on location as it happens. You can also take advantage of amazing deals from the InfoWars store that are only available for InfoWars Prime subscribers. That's InfoWars Prime at InfoWars.com forward slash app. And if you can hear my voice, you are the resistance.